Hello friends and welcome back. Today in this video we are going to solve this algebraic expression and the given problem here is z power by x that is equal to y power by 2x, 2 power by z that is equal to 4 power by x and x plus y plus z that is equal to 20. Then we will have to find the value of x, y and z. So friend if still you have not subscribed my channel please do subscribe the channel and do not forget to give thumbs up to the video. Now let's start the video. Here in the problem we have three equations so let us assume this equation as equation 1 and this one as equation 2 and the last one as equation 3. Now if you look at carefully in the second equation we have a numerical base here is 2 and in the equal side there is 4 and from this equations we can relate the value of z and x. Now our first step our first step will be will start with the equation equation 2. Here in the equation 2 we have 2 powered by z that is equal to 4 powered by x and 4 is the square of 2. Here we will write 4 powered by x and 4 can be written as 2 is square and having power x. So here we can multiply the power so we will write 2 powered by 2x. So in place of 4 powered by x we will write 2 powered by 2x. Now here we will write 2 powered by z is equal to 2 powered by 2x. Now in this equation we have same base 2 and 2. So we can equate the power or exponent that is z is equal to z is equal to 2x. Let us take this as equation 4. Now in step we will write the equation 1 that is z powered by x that is equal to y powered by 2x. Now in this equation we will use substitution of z value that is 2x. So in place of z we will write 2x. So we can write 2x having power x is equal to y powered by 2x. Now in this equation for making the same power x and x we will write y square and that is having power x. Now look at here we can write it as 2x powered by x here that is equal to y square we will write y square as it is and that is having powered by x. We have written this value as per our rule. Now in this equations the power is same x and x so we can write the base as same so we write it here. So the base in the left hand side is 2x that is equal to base in the right hand side that is y square. Let us take as equation 5. Now if you compare equation 4 and equation 5 we have 2x here and 2x also in the 5 equations so we can write z is equal to 2x in the equation 4 and equation 4 2x is equal to y square so therefore we can write z is equal to 2x and that is equal to y square now in step 3 we will use equation 3 that is x plus y plus z that is equal to 20 now in this equation we will put the value of x and z in terms of y so the value of x will be here 2x is y square so we can write x is equal to y square by 2. So therefore in place of x we will write from here y square by 2 plus y as it is plus in place of z the value of z is y square. So we will write y square that is equal to 20. For making this equation simpler we will multiply the equation in both sides by 2. We will multiply the left hand side by 2 that will be here y square by 2 multiplied by 2 will be y square and this will be 2y plus this will be 2y square in the right hand side 20 multiplied by 2 will be 40. So here we can simplify this equations y square and 2y square is 3y square plus 2y. We'll take the 40 in the left hand side it will be minus 40 that is equal to 0. Now if you look at it, it is in the form of quadratic equation. It is in the form of quadratic equations, so we'll simplify it here. Now in step four, step four, we'll calculate the value of y from this quadratic equations. The value of y will be minus b plus minus under root b square minus four ac that is divided by two a. So here the value of b is two, so it will be minus two plus minus under root b square means 4 2 square here minus 4 ac means 4 multiplied by 3 is 12 12 for the 
48 and 480 here it is minus so it will be plus plus 480 that is divided by 2a a means 3 so now we will simplify it will be minus 2 plus minus in the root there will be 484 that is divided by 6 now equal to minus 2 plus minus 484 is the square root of 22 that is divided by 6 now for calculating the value of y we will take plus value first that is minus 2 plus 22 that is divided by 6 and there will be another value minus 2 minus 22 that is divided by 6 now we'll write in the next space here we have copied down the value of y now we'll simplify it will be minus 2 plus 22 will be 20 divided by 60 it is cancelling by 2 that is 10 divided by 3 so the value will be 10 by 3 and here we'll calculate it it will be minus 24 divided by 6 and 6 4 are 24 so the value of y is minus 4 so we have two values of y so here we have calculated two values of y that is 10 by 3 and another is minus 4 now from here we will calculate the value of x and z now for calculating the value of x we know x is equal to x is equal to y square by 2 so we can write x is equal to y square by 2 now we will put the value of y that is 10 by 3 square by 2 now it is 100 divided by 9 and this value divided by 2 will be reciprocal 1 by 2 so it goes to 50 so we can write 50 by 9 is the value of x now for the value of y as minus 4 we can write x is equal to y square divided by 2 the value of y here is minus 4 square by 2 the square value of minus will be plus and 4 square is 16 that is divided by 2 here it is 8 times so the value of x here is 8 so here we have calculated the value of x that is 50 by 9 and another value is 8 now here we will calculate the value of z and we know z is equal to and z is equal to 2x in equation 4 now as per equation 4 we can write z is equal to 2x now here we will put the value of x that is 2 multiplied by value of x is 50 by 9 50 by 9 and here 2 multiplied by value of x is 8 we will multiply 8 2 multiplied by 50 is 100 that is divided by 9 and another value will be 16 now the value of z we have calculated here is 100 by 9 and 16 so friend here we have calculated the value of x y and z so friends that's all for today if you like the video then share amongst your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel thank you for watching the video